What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 update video. Now in today's video we've got a lot to go through and some very very exciting things. They've been revealing the new Chapter 3 monster and a bunch of other things and we're going to go through it all in today's video. We've got a new trailer, some new gameplay screenshots and a lot more to go through. It's going to be a fun video so be sure to stay tuned to the end because you don't want to miss any of it. And uh, while you're down there be sure to subscribe right now if you're new and you're looking forward to Chapter 3 because I didn't even tell you we're going to be covering that game, everything in it. We're going to find every single thing and play through the entire thing so get subscribed. Anyways let's go ahead and start with the new trailer so it's called smiling critters cartoon and as you guys know uh, earlier this week they revealed the smiling critters which are the, these these you know little character creature stuffed animal thingies that are apparently going to be the new monsters in chapter three so here we go on screen right now we've got the critter cartoon up let's go ahead and give it a go and uh see what it has in store for us i heard it's very creepy oh. a little cartoon Uh, oh, there's the cat! Wait, it's on the moon. Okay. Yeah, there's that purple cat. We know. There's something so calming about this to me. I don't know why. I love cartoons like this. The wind's really scary. Oh my gosh. Hey, we'll be okay, guys. I promise. All winds blow away. Where's the purple one? Eventually. Yeah, where's the purple? Look, the purple one's missing. <gasps> oh. There he is. Oh, he looks creepy. I like it. Oh, wait. Catnap! catnap. Please help us go to sleep, Catnap. We need it, Catnap. Please help us sleep, sleep, sleep. That's his name. Oh, oh, oh. So that is the thing that... That's the thing that shoots out the gas. Oh my god. Oh. Are they? No, they're not dead. Hold on a minute. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. We, we gotta go back here. So, hold on. So, this is... I guess this might signify the orphanage, right? Because as you guys know, in earlier teaser trailers, we've seen... Or earlier, the, the screenshots from the trailer, um, there was a room with fake outside windows, right? So it looks like that might be what this is. Like, look outside the window. They think... That's like the real outside world, and this is maybe supposed to like signify that this is the, this is the children, the orphans, and outside they think is like the real world, and none of them can sleep. Now, what's interesting is that they say we need it. Like if we go through this, he knocks at the door, and he's the only one not there. He he obviously is. There's something different about him. Look at all the characters though. I wonder how they're gonna come into play in the chapter. But those are the kids, and this is something else. Whatever this guy is. Now, why are they so happy to see him though? It's got to be they're getting drugged, right? I, I think that's what they're hinting at here. And because of that, they think this guy's good and there to help them. Now, right here, they say we need catnap! it. Catnap! Please, help us go to sleep, Catnap. We need it, Catnap. See? Help us go to sleep, Catnap. We need it. Catnap. Please help us. Sleep. Sleep. Please. Sleep. Like, look at how excited they are. That, uh, why would they be so excited to go to bed, though? And why would they be so excited for this gas that this thing is handing out? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's almost like they're they're addicted to it. And for whatever reason, they're not able to go to bed. And they really like going to bed. So whatever happens in their dreams, whatever this stuff causes in their dreams, they love it. So it's like the real world is like, they hate the real world. Like, they, it's, it's awful to them. And all they look forward to is their dreams, which is kind of dark. But then, of course, it gives out the gas and just makes them smile and laugh and become hysterical. I mean, you can tell that, that this makes them go crazy whenever they're in the gas, but they love it. That's dark. Oh my gosh. And then of course they're knocked out. It almost looks like they're dead, but no, I think they're just, they're just, you know, sleeping. Now, wait, 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 wait. Is he, when this happens, right? Is he in the gas? I do want to know. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. He's in the gas. So he's immune to it. He's literally immune to it. He's the only one there that doesn't get affected by the gas. So I, I think, okay, I think what this is supposed to like signify here is all the cats are children. They're the orphans, right? That outside world isn't real. They think it is. We've seen it in the in the images, you know, that we've seen before. And this guy right here is, he's not a kid. He's he's something else. Or he's like the, 
the boss baby of like the kids. I don't know, dude, but it, it's very interesting. All right, let's get into the new screenshots. All right, so here we go on screen right now. We've got the first screenshot that they revealed. This is the Smiling Critters. So it's obviously some kind of, you know, cartoon that takes place in the Poppy Playtime universe. And uh, yeah, they look pretty happy. I mean, look at these guys. Look at them. He, he's smiling. He's smiling. They're all smiling. They're all having a good time. Even the mysterious purple cat that just so happens to be there too. Uh, they, I mean, they all look really happy. This one resembles Chica so much to me, though. It's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's interesting. You can see there's a little, like, moon symbol right there on the logo. A little unicorn uh, thing to kind of signify um, this one right here. So I'm wondering if these are going to be, like, the important ones, right? So we got the unicorn. We got the moon, which is obviously be catnap, judging by its necklace. And, of course, you know, puts people to sleep. You've got some kind of ears or something on this one. Uh, maybe that's like the heart on this one's neck. I don't I don't know. So it seems like though those might play a bigger role than the other ones. But regardless, this is just like the little intro, uh, you know, cinematic that you see whenever you start the cartoon. Now, the next one we have here, this is where things get a little bit more interesting. They start revealing some of the characters. So the first one we have here is Bubba Bubbafint. Now, Bubba Bubbafint is the brains of the critters. Bright and attentive, he keeps his friends steady and always steers them to make smart choices. That way, they all might grow up to be bright and brilliant, each in their own right. Scent lemon grass now here's the interesting thing about this first of all lemongrass that scent um in real life i think it causes there's a it, it causes something i saw online okay so lemongrass whenever you google it, it says help over helps overpower feelings of nervousness and mental fatigue so it's interesting that it's scented lemongrass because it helps with mental fatigue and and nervousness now we know these kids are very nervous they're trapped underground in this bunker and yeah it's kind of weird that they're scented that way you know maybe it's kind of hinting at something i'll we'll have to wait and see until the chapter's out but yeah it's, it's a very interesting little scent that he has there um but yeah he's, he's the brains of the operation which i feel like if he's that bright and attentive you know why is he ingesting this uh gas that seemingly drives him crazy i don't know uh, but anyways let's go to the next one so the next one we have here is bobby bear hug a kind caring soul bobby bear hug shows compassion for everyone and for everything People and places and things, large or small, are all receivers of her love. Each is enriched by this attention and affection, and in turn, so is she. So yeah, I mean, I don't think, I think these are the children, right? But I think their souls are probably going to end up being put into each of these different, like, you know, uh, characters. And they're going to be hunting us through the chapter. I, that's my guess. And then, of course, at the end, we'll run into the, the big boss himself, um, Catnap. But... I think these were just normal children that th this gas, you know, infected them. And now they are, uh, yeah, they, they turn into these horrifying monsters. Um, but I mean, they, they look pretty nice, you know, here. Like, look, it doesn't look like a, you know, a non-friendly creature. It looks like it'd be pretty, you know, <laughs> it wouldn't be the scariest thing to run into. Uh, I'm just thinking, I'm thinking there's like different, you know, things that they're hitting at with each of the scents that, you know, you could probably find out about on Google or, you know, put two and two together, but I'm not too sure. But either way, two of the new Smiling Critters. And it also seems like they're going to be revealing a new one of these every single day so or you know every few days so i'm guessing tomorrow we're gonna get another one and then after that another one another one so it seems like it's leading up to a potential new trailer or a release date or the game itself so stay tuned to the channel i think this month's gonna be very interesting now next up though we have this screenshot right here now this is gonna be a new gameplay screenshots okay i showed these off in another short that i did earlier this week but i didn't do a full vi video breaking them down um this one i think we already took a look at though but this is just like one of the rooms uh you know somewhere in the orphanage and you know there's blood on the floor very weird things happening a bunch of crushed up toys and toys hanging from the ceiling which we've seen in chapter one so whatever is hanging these things up is back and it's doing it again um but this is some part of the orphanage you know things have gone horribly bad here now the next screenshot though this is where things get interesting okay so here it is right here now check this out first of all kissy missy is back it's hinting at it we know it um also huggy wuggy's been impaled on her neck which is very interesting but she's back we know she's going to show up in this chapter i mean I, I i would assume so this is some kind of area in the play care where you know kissy missy's the main uh the main attraction here also on the back wall you guys can see it says something uh let me know if you guys can read that let's oh let's boogie okay so it's them dancing you can see it's huggy um, Kissy Missy and then Mommy Longlegs, even like the robot and some other characters are down there as well. So that's interesting. Um, then in terms of other stuff that's going on in here, yeah, look, something bad has happened here. Once again, something is going around ripping off Huggy Wuggy's head on all of these toys. Like it does not want Huggy Wuggy to have a head. <laughs> it's plushy does not deserve a head. Uh, what to whatever that thing is, you know, whatever is causing that does not want Huggy Wuggy to have a head. Um, but everything, everything else in here looks pretty normal. It looks like the way to a train, right? 
It looks like this would be like what you'd go to then to then to then get on the train and you know uh, go wherever you got to go. We know we ended chapter two on a train and uh, it crashed at the very end, so this might be like the start of the chapter. Um, anyways, though, next screenshot we have here is this one. Now this looks like some kind of I don't know insane room. Like you would go there and I, I, I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's definitely supposed to be like a play area, right? Almost like it looks like one, right? Like you would, you know, there'd be toys in here and it's like a very safe room because it's covered in padding and stuff. But it also looks like you somewhere where you would lock someone up and make them sit there forever, you know, <laughs> like trap them in there for life. And you can tell though there's something going on right here, but you can't really tell what it is. And then there's whatever this thing is on the ground right here, which I also don't know what that is. It kind of looks like a, a trampoline built into the floor, but I'm not too sure. But regardless, I just thought it was an interesting screenshot. Um, let me know your guesses in the comment section down below for that one. Now, the next one we have here is this one. This one's very interesting. So taking a look at it, we've got a window right here. Now, my guess is this is not a real window. Just like in the in the, the cartoon that we just saw, this is one of those fake outside windows that makes it seem like you're, you know, actually outside, but you're not. Like, they think, the children think that's the outside world and they're just stuck inside, but no, they're deep underground. This window is, is fake. Like, whatever's out there isn't real. And it's just, you know, made by the scientists or whoever's down there controlling these children, the orphans. Um, but look, this is definitely where the orphans sleep. There's toys and stuff like that on the beds. There's obviously little, like, you know, wall sculpture or art and stuff like that. Just so, you know, something you'd have in, like, a children's bedroom, a child's bedroom, to kind of, you know, make them feel more at home. There's also this weird device right here, which it looks like you pull that and it... It, that might be what gives out the gas because look at that hold on you've got a, a little pull tab here and then you've got like the little like shower head or like maybe where the gas comes out and then down here it looks like a mask is like right here it's all pixelated for you guys i'm sure but like it looks like that might be where they would lay in bed and then the gas would get you know given to them and it would knock them out and put them to sleep that would explain the fake window that explains the beds this is where they sleep now what isn't explained is this right here so there's this vent seemingly on the back wall right here and it's got scratches all over it something has been trying to escape there my guess is the children when they go to sleep they might turn into these monsters and that's what they do like they're, they're trying to escape or they're trying to do something that's got to be what it is right like the smart or the, the critters are the children they take the gas they turn into the monster and then you know horrible things happen at night in this place but I don't quite know. Um, I mean, look, there's like a working desk. Yeah, this is just where the kids will like hang out and it'd be like a bedroom for them, basically. Now, the next room we have here is this one, and this one's very weird. Um, I think we might have seen this one in an earlier breakdown video, the hour of joy. So obviously this is the hour of joy would be when they take the gas, right? Because that's when they're very happy. They're very joyful. So yeah, the hour of joy, they just had the gas and then Seems like something horrible happened here. Obviously, the children probably wrote that on the wall or, you know, whatever they turned into wrote that on the wall in blood. So my guess is they, you know, my, uh, my guess is, OK, the scientists were experimenting on the children, right? They would give them this gas. It would turn them into these monsters, you know, whatever. Um, and then at some point, though, catnap, whoever, whatever child that is, got too much of the gas or something like that has some kind of, you know, something happened with catnap. And he caused all the other children to take too much of the gas at some point when the scientists weren't expecting it. They go crazy. They kill everyone in the building. They kill all the scientists. They kill everyone. And they write stuff like this on the wall with like the hour of joy because they're all drugged up and they're they're on this gas that, you know, they can't think straight. They just do whatever, whatever catnap basically wants them to do. But uh, over here, though, you've got reading is fun and just some other random posters. But yeah, uh, it, it's very interesting. Oh, look, there's a, a little button right here. So this is a yeah, this is straight from the game. This is a button that we're going to be able to press and do some kind of puzzle here. But yeah, something horrible happened here. Something very, very horrible. But guys, that is currently all of the news that we have about Chapter 3. Now, like I said, I think on Twitter, they're going to keep revealing new stuff. OK, we're going to be getting a ton of new teasers, ton of new stuff until we eventually get either a new trailer at the end of this week, a release date or the game. My guess is it's going to be the release date and then the game is going to come out at the end of the month or sometime in December, as you guys know. It's one of these two months and it seems to be very, very close. So stay tuned to the channel. Get ready. It's going to be fun. You guys already know. All right. I'm going to be pumping out the videos. We're going to be finding all the Easter egg secrets. We're going to be hacking it. It's going to be fun. It's going to be crazy. So get ready. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.